Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Back out here with the brim gear yet again. Hitting up another river system here in Mississippi. Going to see if we can catch a couple of bluegills. Still relatively early season, but the water temps have finally warmed up a little bit. So maybe they'll be biting a little bit more aggressive and we'll catch quite a few today. Going to start right here on the main river stretch. I've had some lucks with islands like are right out here in front of me. And this area has a pretty good drop off and a lot of structure. So we will give it a shot. The goal for today is six good take home bluegills that I can fillet. Love to do that, may not, but as long as I catch a couple fish, obviously I'm gonna be happy out here on the water. So I'll start with this side. And then as I move up, I'll go to this structure kind of in the middle, a uh, small island really of just trees and whatnot. This one's a pretty good one, whatever the case may be. At least it feels good. I may have to ch change my drag a little bit. He's not bad. <laughs> it's a good first fish of the day, that's for certain. I want something a little bit bigger than this, but I will gladly take it. Yeah, decent bluegill. Let's see if we can get some a little bit bigger to take home, but I will gladly take this size. Circle hook pops right out and we'll let him go. There's another one. That one feels a little bit bigger. <laughs> a little bit, not too much, but get another fish for the boat. Try again on some of these others once we get up here for a second. Lots of boat traffic today, obviously. Not slowing down too much, but that's all right. Everybody can enjoy the water. We'll let this guy go. Let's move on to another spot. Maybe out of this wake a little bit. See if we can find this larger fish. <laughs> it just touched the water. Wow, whatever this is, is good. This is a good one. Yep. <laughs> There's the first keeper of the day right there. I mean, as soon as it touched the water, this thing went down with it. Forgot to turn that on there. But yeah, I will take him home gladly. Get him off the hook. I'm going to have to go back and try that spot. Maybe three feet from the boat, if that, and... Well, he jumped on it. <laughs> Definitely getting a better bite now that, um, well, these fish are really getting into season. The water's warmed up, a lot more aggressive than it was just a couple of weeks ago. Let's get him in the ice chest. Possibly something small. Yeah. A little small thing. <laughs> oh, I think it's got me hung up. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Fighting through these reeds, they make them seem a lot bigger than what they actually are. That's for certain. That is some catfish bait. That's what I like to call this size. That one go. Let's see if we find something nicer. I'll try fishing a couple more casts back here. If I can't find anything else, then I'll move down and see if we can try out some other areas. Well, that other camera decided to die. Just a little warm out here. Day about 85. GoPros don't have great heat dissipation but anywho got my cricket here got my circle hook and I just take that run it through the chest plate out the back and that's how you hook one of those things I'm just gonna cast it along the shoreline this piece of structure right here got a little bit more wind than I was dealing with and I'm sure as the day gets longer there's gonna be more people out on jet skis and whatnot so I'll have to contend with that but that's just part of it everybody gets to deserve to use the water as much as I do Found some on the back side of this island. That's a decent size for a little female. Let's get it up here, right at the top of the mouth. Here. Seem to be in the middle of the water calm a little bit deeper right now. A little bit away from the structure. Yep. <laughs> That's good, whatever it is. I think it's hung up on something. I'll have to chase this one down a little bit. <laughs> Back off this spot some. Yeah, that's a good fish. Yeah, I'll keep that one. I got one already in the ice chest. I need a couple to take home. So he's not a terrible one. 
Yeah, he was hooked pretty well. Look at that, the bottom. That hook got all in there. <laughs> all right. Well, let's stick on this spot a little bit longer since I caught this guy. I found a pretty good one. I'm going to run out of bait here soon. I'll have to make a run down to one of these landings. There's several boat launches through here. And I'll go pick up some more crickets if they have them. Hopefully they got a few in stock. I brought 50, 60 thinking that would be enough. But that's about all I got. Maybe hmm, less than 20 or so. Plus I got some dead ones like that just because I had to get them yesterday. Alright, let's try it again. I'm out here a bit south from where I was originally. Hopefully, by coming south, I'll get out of the boat traffic a bit more. And I'm going to look for these areas kind of flooding in just a little bit. See if there may be brim coming in from these really small creeks into the main channel. But had to go get some more crickets as well from one of these shops that uh, is pretty close by. We'll see if we can find a couple. Hopefully so for that $4 whopping investment uh, for the crickets and everything. We'll see. Finally, there we go. That's a good one too. That one feels really good. Yeah, let's get this one in the boat. It feels solid. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just trying to pull some drag. <laughs> let's, let's boat flip this one. <laughs> that is what I've been looking for all day. We finally found them. I need to cast back in that same spot. <laughs> that is a hand-sized brim or uh, also known as titty brim to uh, some people out there, but awesome. Now that's four, let's get two or three more like this and I, and I have a meal at least for, uh, for myself. <laughs> now if you're interested in the gear I'm using today, whether it be this Akuma reel and rod combo, uh, my terminal tackle, things of that nature, I'll go ahead and I will link that somewhere up here in these corners as well as down in the description so you can get an idea on what I've had success with. In addition to that, if you're interested in seeing how I do the slip bobber setup, I have a whole video devoted just that and why I really like this setup for brim fishing. And that'll be up here in one of the corners as well. There we go. There's a really good one. Get them away from the structure again. That's what they keep getting into. All right, flip this one in. Not quite as big as that last one, but still a good size, definitely a keeper. Let's get him off and go right back to that same spot. Pretty sure one a little bit bigger than this is what pulled me in the structure, but that's all right. Now that I'm re-rigged, I'm ready to go again. Check that bad boy out. That's a, that's a pretty good bluegill in my books. Look at the waterway, it's not a private frond or anything. I'll gladly take them. I can literally watch this one. There we go. It's got it. Yep. <laughs> I just watched that shell cracker come up and eat it right off that stump. That was cool. That was really cool. Yep. I had to put it right in front of its face and it finally took a shot at it. That is another keeper right there. Or I'm sorry, not a shell cracker. That's a red ear. Okay, so another new species on the day. These are a little bit thinner, a little bit longer, a little bit wider mouth. You also hear them refer to as stump knockers sometimes because they like to stay right on top of the stumps, but there we go. That's another right at the back end of that stump. I might go try to go back over there and take another cast because there's a couple with them. Maybe I didn't scare them off. Chances are I did, but hey, who knows? There's another one off that same stump. <laughs> yep, they're piled in right there. I figured they would mind the, moat, the boat more than they do, but really not. That's pretty good. That might be a bass, actually. I think it is. Yeah, I think it got a bass on. Holy cow. <laughs> All right, nice and gentle. There we go. <laughs> Check that guy out. That's not a bad bass either, actually, man. How about that? That's a large mouth. I wouldn't have expected to catch one of these guys today. That's a good one. I wanna see what the, yeah. 
was recording, but I want to see what this guy has to measure real quick for uh, Mississippi. Um, if it's 13 inches or so, I, th I think I might be able to keep him. I might have to do that. Let's let's take a look and see. You know what? I'm uncertain what the size is for bass, or even if there is a size. I don't really know how that works here, but hey, for that guy, I'm going to take him. I want to go ahead and let him go, let him grow a little bit. That was a fun fight regardless. Take care, little guy. He'll swim off. There he goes. Awesome. All right, last cricket, if I can get him out. He's, he's trying his best. There we go. <laughs> it's always the most difficult thing when you got one cricket left. Oh, he liked his little cage. Let's see if you can catch us one last fish. If I don't, that's all right. Still been a great day. I'll go cast this. I think I see some stumps right over there. I'm just going to fish the shoreline for a second, give it 15 seconds. I'll make a couple fan casts and see if I can get something right here. Oh, there was a hit. And there's one on. <laughs> oh, man, he's he's fighting me, too. This is a good one. This is a good one to end it on. Yeah, good note to end it on. Take a look. That's a solid one. Well, there we go. That was the last cricket. I'm going to get this one off. We'll get them in the ice chest, and then uh, it's time to start heading towards the docks. Let's get you in to your place of honor. That is not a bad cooler full of fish. Awesome. Well, I got about two hours of daylight left. That's enough time for me to make the 30, 45 minute drive home, get these guys clean up as well as the boat. So awesome day of fishing really couldn't be happier time to head back to the launch finally made it back to the house and today was awesome it took quite a bit of searching but i finally found some good sized ones although i was catching brim just about everywhere so i ended up with between 10 and 15 decent sized brim i'm going to be able to flay those out but really happy that i was able to get a couple that's going to be a nice little meal but guys that's going to be it for today if you enjoyed today's video please make sure to share like subscribe for more and as always thanks for watching